Okay, how are you doing guys? I'm back with another video, and this video is going to be about what CM Punk did to Wade Barrett on Raw during the main event in the Steel Cage match for the number one contendership for the WWE Championship. Um, my thoughts on that. Uh, CM Punk came out when Barrett was about to win the match and pretended to help him out of the cage and then when they when he pulled him up to about uh, to for Barrett to almost win the match by getting over the cage CM Punk reached down and ripped off his Nexus armband and then pushed him back down into the ring and Randy Orton ended up becoming the new number one contender now my thoughts since the beginning, I didn't really like Nexus. And then since then, I've changed a little bit. Um, where Barrett, uh, I, I started to like everybody but Barrett. But then CM Punk come into the Nexus picture and Barrett's gone now. Now, I think it's about time for Barrett to get kicked out of Nexus. I mean, he tried to kick out um, David Otonga. He's done kicked out uh, uh, Darren Young and Michael Tarver. Well, and uh, Skip Sheffield's out on injury. So you could pretty much say he's tried to kick out three people out of Nexus. Well, my views on CM Punk with Nexus aren't as good because I don't like CM Punk either. I, I, I never liked him with Nexus or without Nexus. And my thoughts on what he did to Wade Barrett. Um, my feelings for that, well, I guess you'd call that, but I kind of agree with that, like I said before. He's a rich, he was original member of Nexus, but it's about time for him to not be there no more. And out of 10, I'd probably give that, uh, probably a... A eight out of ten on how good that was, in my opinion. I'm not really how to. Sh I'm not really sure how to talk about it and whatever. But um, that's what I agree. I think it was a good thing for Barrett to be kicked out of Nexus. Show him a piece of what he's done to the other three people. Well, actually two people, but he attempted to kick out David Otunga. Yeah, David Otunga. But it didn't work. Okay, next are going to be my thoughts on Royal Rumble 2010. Until the next video, talk about that in the next video. Hold on. Never mind, forget about that. I'll talk about it in this video. Okay, my thoughts about Royal Rumble 2011. Um, not much to say about it. I'm not sure who I think would win the Royal Rumble. Looks like pretty good matches as of right now. I mean, Randy Orton versus The Miz. And apparently WWE actually thinks that The Miz was ready for a WWE, for a WWE title. And not just take it away from him in less than a week like he did for Edge when he won his first title. Or, yeah, Money in the Bank title. Um, but that's a whole other video. I'll talk about what I th my thoughts on Miz as of late. And But anyway, get back to the Royal Rumble. Um, I think that... Mm, I... I I'll shoot out of the dark and say that I think that Cena 
might return the Royal Rumble. If he doesn't return, Triple H is going to return and win it. I know that for sure. No, wait a minute. Um, I don't see Cena returning at the Royal Rumble. I see Triple H returning and winning the thing just like Edge did last year. And then going on to WrestleMania and winning his 14th dub. 14th world title. Hope that happens. If Triple H comes back heel, I don't really care. Just like I said on Facebook about Randy Orton, I'll face or heel, I'll always be a Randy Orton fan, and that's a promise. So, yeah, that's a promise. Never gonna change, no matter what. Okay, that's my thoughts on CM Punk, what he did on Raw, and Royal Rumble 2011. Until next time, I'll probably talk about uh, Miz, what I think about his WWE Championship run, and one more thing. Look at this. If y'all haven't seen it, Number seven, Boston. And remember, awesome jersey, awesome team. Screw the Bears. Until next time, goodbye.